The uh, U.S. were facing off against the team that gave them a bit of a scare in one of the run-up games, South Sudan. How would they overcome the team that, uh, as, as I said, gave them all they could handle? Well, they did it once again with their bench players and with, I don't know, one of the four or five superstars that they have on the team. Durant. Bounce it. Davis. <laughs> Big time flush from Davis and a timeout from South Sudan. Oh, uh, they had all they could take at that point. Yes, Fred? Can I ask you guys a question? Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know your knowledge of, of the Olympic men's basketball. Oh, I thought but, you were say South Sudan. I'm very familiar. Well, that, that line was really high. It was like 28 or something, and then it went way down. And because I guess people started betting heavily because South Sudan played them well in the whatever... Exhibition, Exhibition, they lost by one, yeah. But uh, my question is, has anyone who played for the United States, because obviously if you played for the United States, y it's an opportunity to get yourself on a huge stage and really improve your brand. Is there a player in the history of the United States who's hurt their brand besides Joel Embiid? Joel Embiid oh. is really, re and they rushed him. If you don't know the story, Joel Embiid's obviously not a U.S. citizen. Well, I guess not obviously. He's not a U.S. citizen. But they rushed him apparently a passport to get him to get him to be able to a U.S. passport to travel as a U.S. Uh, a member of the U.S. to get to the to be able to participate in the Olympic Games. He could have played for France, which is why he's getting booed all the time. Mm -hmm. And he could have played. I'm not positive what part of Africa Cameroon he, Cameroon that he could he could play for. Great, he's on the United States, but they like forced him on the team. Like this, so this, and he has been atrocious. In fact, didn't play yesterday. Did not play yesterday. This was the starting center for the previous six games. This team played. Did not, and they asked Kerr about it afterwards. He said, "Matchups like the excuse for Tatum. Matchups. We thought South Sudan gave us a little bit of a speed problem. I'm paraphrasing. So South Sudan because they were quick." That meant Joel Embiid could not play. So let's think about that for a second. You can't play a guy who was the MVP of the league two years ago because the other team he was, was too fast. fast. Yeah. Yeah, but that's why they needed Derek White on the team, who, by the way, they're they're playing a ton. Well, they, they, because they have to now to yes. justify. I, I think it's interesting, too. At the end of the game, they had White and Drew Holiday out there as the two guards and you know, Derek white, you know, he is, he's proven to play impactful minutes. And my first thought was Jalen Brown could be doing the exact same thing. Yeah. You're up by a hundred. And by the way, enough with the Tatum getting bench stuff. It was curious and in, and, and interesting enough for a fleeting thought. Okay. But if you're talking about players, whose brand, let's say brand isn't being enhanced by mm. the Olympics. Okay. I would put Tatum in that group. Sure. But because he did play last night 17 minutes, the fewest minutes of any starter, and he only had four points. Okay, but there's a difference between that and, and being a liability on the team. Like Anyone he's, who's he's watched not a any of these six games realizes that Embiid does not belong out no, there. No, no, Embiid... Like, he's unlike any other player on like, that team. Like Tatum, Tatum is not a hindrance to the team. Like Tatum might not be putting up a lot of points, but it's, again, the, a game they won very, very easily. If, if you watch when Embiid is out there, the offense stops. Yeah, he dude, gets it's like a problem. And, and also the, the excuse they're making for him is he might be hurt, and to that I would say, Why the hell get is off, he out there? Yeah, why, why are you on this team? There are plenty of other people that can take his place that are big men. Yeah, I would and, just say the difference between, you know, world basketball and international basketball and the NBA because – yeah, he, it hasn't been a good look for him, but how many teams in the NBA would take Embiid for the start of next season? I'm right just now? saying as an – no, no, no. I'm not saying his value in the NBA. I'm okay. talking about as a marketing tool. This has been very bad for him because a lot of discussion after every game is how bad Embiid is. It, it, it has been since the exhibition season. And, and so the whole notion of, like, Tatum didn't play in a game, get out of here. That, that, who cares? You got a bigger issue. You got three. First of all, you got three Celtics on it. So shut up, Celtics fans. And second of all, the, the big problem is not putting Jalen Brown on it and putting Derek White on it. That's the big problem. But yeah, you want bigger guys that can stretch the floor and defend 
and, and that's exactly what Jalen Brown is. And you it replaced him with a guy on the same team who's four inches shorter and uh, and not and not the not the, not as effective as he would be in this team. That's who was the best player on the floor last night or yesterday? Bam out of bio. Bam out of bio. Right, Bam out of bio. Anthony Davis. Those are the guys that are LeBron James. Those are the guys that are the most important for this team. And I heard an argument like. Uh, oh, you you mean to tell me that Anthony Edwards should play in front of Jason Tatum? That's an insult to Jason Tatum. Oh, shut up! It, the, the, Anthony Edwards, Jason Tatum. What what are you talking about? That's that's ridiculous. That's well, that's like it's not Derek Edwards played it. it uh, uh, Derek Edwards, Derek White played it in, in front of Jason Tatum. Anthony Edwards is a superstar too. Anthony Edwards, Jason Tatum. In terms of skill level, they're both between five and ten on the, yeah, on the so, best player in so, the league. So and shut at up level, with that. Uh, uh, yeah, Th- that's non. The two players that aren't stars on this team are White and Holiday. And Holiday, I know why he's on the team. You, you. That's another thing. You watch. You understand why Drew Holiday's out. Oh, I get why Holiday's on the yeah. team. Holiday's a very effective player. Holiday yeah. is a reason that the Celtics won the championship. Very as calming influence for everybody out so, there. Yes. If you like that clip, check out more videos from Toucher and Hardy here. For more Celtics analysis and opinion, hit this playlist. And for all the latest from the Sports Hub, download the app at 985thesportshub.com.